may you find in this day some moments of quiet and peace that calm your soul and give you a sense of wholeness and shalom. To me, the best vacations are ones that give my spirit freedom to laugh and dance for the sheer joy of it. I shouldn't limit that to vacations. The Bible doesn't. Psalm 150 verses 4 and 6 is only one of many references to dancing in praise of God. Praise God with tambourine and dance. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. And here are the thoughts of Reuben M. A. Alvis from Tomorrow's Child, Imagination, Creativity, and the Rebirth of Culture. There's no universal recipe for living. Living has to do with choices of contexts. It is up to us to choose the relevant points of reference, the horizon, the directions, or if you will, the stimuli which are going to make up the world to which we are responsible. Living is like dancing. As you dance, you move your body according to a rhythm and a harmony which fill the space. The complexity of our human predicament is due to the fact that a number of conflicting rhythms and harmonies are being played at the same time. You cannot dance them all. If you try, you become schizophrenic and your body is split or immobilized by contradictory dynamics. Personality demands integration. As Kierkegaard once said that purity of heart is to will one thing only, so we might say that purity of heart is to dance to one rhythm only. You may dance the tune played by the present reality. Your style of life will be realistic and pragmatic. Or you may choose to move your body under the spell of a mysterious tune and rhythm which come from a world we do not see, the world of our hopes and aspirations. Hope is hearing the melody of the future. Faith is to dance it. You risk your life and you take your risk to its ultimate conclusion, even the cross because you detect a strange odor of death mixed with the fascinating music of Mephisto, Lord of the present evil world. The rhythms of the future, on the other hand, contain promises of freedom, love, and life. It is worth the risk, even if we lose. So be it. A shorter quote comes from Catherine of Siena's letters. Be happy, be content always, everywhere, in all circumstances, because every circumstance is a gift of love for you from the Eternal Father. That's why God wants us to rejoice in every one of our troubles and to praise and give glory to his name, yes, in everything because God loves you with a forever kind of love. Once more, this Celtic blessing for you. May you have walls for the wind and the roof for the rain and drinks beside the fire, laughter to cheer you and those you love near you and all that your heart may desire. God bless you. Amen.